Yo, so, Africa show, you already know. Blah, 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 blah. Quick quote, right? I want to quote somebody. I want to quote the great Ye. Or whoever said it on the Donda album. Even if, it's a, even if it is not day, it cannot always be night. Even if it is not day, it cannot always be night. You understand that? Do you understand that? Even if it's not always day, it cannot always be night. I think that's the words. I would Google it right now, but I ain't trying to give iPhone any promotion. <laughs> Says a nigga talking on two iPhones. Pause. Two cameras. But yeah, so um, let's get into the story. Africa show. Africa show. So I'm pretty sure everybody's clip, everybody seen what's going on, maybe. Like, maybe you probably know what's going on with the whole the baby and Dana Lee. I think that's the name. Dana Lee? Dana Lee? Oh, damn. I'm sorry. Sorry, Ma. Sorry, Ma. But, yeah. So, for those who don't know, because I know I have a lot of, I have also have a lot of elder people who follow me and who pay attention to the stuff I put out. Love you guys, by the way. Love you. That probably are looking at, like, I don't know what's going on, but it's still, like, Everything is a lesson to be learned, I feel like. Everything has a lesson to be learned inside of it. So it's like certain situations, like me personally, I don't like to talk about certain things or talk about certain people, but when I see a lesson in something, I'm going to speak on it. So, all right, boom. So now there's a rapper called The Baby and an R&B artist, singer called Dan L.A., right? They had a baby. They've been messing around or they've been with each other um, in public, doing stuff, going out or whatever. It's been pretty well documented through social media. Like, through social media apps such as Instagram, Twitter, and stuff like that, right? So, today they went, well, last morning or whatever happened, or last night or whatever. So, yeah, they've been together. Well, they've been messing around or whatever. Nobody really knew their real situation, but they just knew that they was messing around. Cool. So, um, they had a baby recently. Beautiful daughter, I believe. It's a daughter. Yeah, they had a baby recently. And... Yeah, so they've been pretty quiet. You know what I mean? It's, it is what it is. Stuff shit's been going on. The baby's been going through his whole um, gay element, LBGTQI, I think it is. Question mark, whatever. He's been going through the thing with that community about his harsh thing, the harsh things he said at Rolling Loud or some concert. Bro, come on. You know, I don't know. I don't care. But yeah, he's been going through his controversy with that. So now he's under more heat. More scrutiny because he was on live or whatever. And so him and his baby mom ended up, his baby mom, Dana Lay, they ended up getting into an argument. And, of course, now it's all over social media. Everybody sees it. So everybody has an opinion. Everybody's putting their two cents in. And me, personally, I don't really feel, I, like, when it comes to that situation, I'm not going to say he was right. I'm not going to say she was right. Because it's like, it's that argument when it comes to baby mom, baby father, parents situation is deep. And I wish people would mind their fucking business. You feel me? But, and it, speaking of that, the only reason why I'm making this video is because it's like now her brother, Dan Lay's brother is coming in to defend his sister. I guess, and it's like, yeah, I guess it's cool as you should or whatever. But at the same time, it's the way he's doing it. So yeah, let me continue. Let me finish putting y'all onto what happened. So basically, Dana Lee is saying that she's been with the baby for months now, ever since their daughter was born. And um, he came home yesterday, last night, and they had sex or whatever. He nutted her, and she went to get a plan B. Or she ordered a plan B to the room, and he got mad and said, yo, you got to leave. Like, started trying to kick her and the kid out. So whatever. Then he called the cops or whatever. The cops came. That became a whole nother thing or whatever. So a lot of people are having... Are feeling the way about that and like i'm saying none of that shit is my business bro like and that's why i want people to understand because yes i can easily sit here and say yo he's wrong for kicking him out for kicking his daughter his child and the mom out at that time at 3 a.m he's wrong and i mean that would be a little personal because yes i do feel like that's wrong but then that's what i'm saying a lot of shit is tricky unless you've been in a situation where you've been kicked out at like a crazy time with your kid, I don't, or you've been in a position to kick somebody out at a crazy time with your kid, I don't feel like you should be able to speak on this, you know? But yeah, just know 
shit gets real when you have kids, yo. And that's where the sacrifice comes. So it's like stuff like this. The, the thing that I feel like they both did wrong is the fact that they documented this shit online. They got niggas on fucking Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Shit that don't, probably don't even exist. Talking about this shit. It's like, man, y'all, half of y'all who talking about this. Y'all don't got kids. You're not married. Y'all don't got issue going on for y'all. Y'all probably don't got, like, y'all don't, do y'all have apartments? Or like, are y'all even courting anybody who y'all gonna have kids with soon? But yeah, y'all don't have none of that shit going on, but y'all all up in this man's business, in this lady's business. Cool. So yeah, boom. That's the backstory of it. Like I said, I don't know who's right, who's wrong. This, that, and the third. Only thing I didn't agree with, but like I said again, in the situation, he's acting out of anger when he was on live and saying like, oh, you the side chick, blah, 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 blah. You been my side chick. Like, it comes off a little harsh, especially when a woman just put her life on the line, because that's what women say all the time. And it's true, though, but they like to weaponize that. A woman who just put her life on the line for you to um to have another loved one in this world, another mini me, you feel me? And I love kids, so it's like, yeah. But at the same time, how do we know that's not that wasn't his truth? Like, how do we know that's not how he really felt? And maybe... It's not how he felt, but he said it out of anger to get her mad. So it's like, yeah, that's the part that I didn't agree with. That's the only part I could say, like, oh, I don't agree with it because it's kind of like, damn, that's kind of crazy. To you know what I mean? But then again, it is what it is. But the thing I don't understand is that her brother came, her brother's defending her. Like I said, as he should, cool. But nigga, are you going to go check your fucking sister, nigga? If you're not going to check your sister, nigga, don't fucking come talk, try to talk to me, nigga. Don't try to talk to me, nigga. That's what I'm saying because niggas be having shit effed up. Because niggas be thinking they big and bad, this, that, and third. It's like, yo, your sister fucking with me because I'm a butt, my nigga. I'm a real one, too. That's what I'm saying. That's what people got to understand. So it's like, yeah, when niggas be trying to make it seem like, oh, yeah, you do this, my sister, I'm going to beat you. It's like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Are you going to go check your sister and ask her why she did that shit? Why she, what, like, what she did wrong? Then the thing that got me mad is the fact that he's calling him, he said, the snitch, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. It's like, the snitch. So what he was supposed to do, lay hands on your fucking sister, nigga? What is he supposed to do, lay hands on her? Instead of snitching, call up more girls to come beat your sister's ass, his baby mom's ass? That's what he's supposed to do? No. That's what I'm saying. They be pushing us into the corner where it's like, oh, you can't do anything but... Um, but call, but call the cops. But as soon as you call the cops, then it's like, oh, you should have handled it like a man. Then it's like, when you handle it like a man, you go to fucking jail. You jeopardize your whole life. Then, 10 years, 5, 10 years, 20 years, oh, his dumb ass threw it all away because this, that. It's like, what? The fuck? So what y'all want us to do? That's what I'm saying. It's like, me personally, and it's like, this is going deeper because it's like, yo, like I said, people know me. I've been snitched on. I've had the cops called on me. I done had... A lot of shit happened to me. I just don't um, embrace none of that shit. I just don't always say it. But it's like, I had a lot of that random shit happen to me, yo. Believe it or not. But at the same time, my whole thing is that it's like, yo, now that I'm at this age that I'm at, now that I know as much as I know now, now I think it's kind of getting to the point where I'm kind of like, yo, you know what? Maybe calling the cops is the way. Maybe it is the way. Because nobody's bigger than the program, right? Nobody's bigger than what's going on. And then the day, we all got to fall in line to this life, bro, to this world. So it's like, yeah, what are we supposed to do? Actually, we should call the cops then. So it's like, in that sense then, the baby was right. He called the cops to protect himself, yo. Like, the thing is that the kicking out part is what I feel like is getting a lot of people in their feelings. But then again, at the same time, how many women have kicked out men? Fathers, like real fathers, fathers who've been doing their job have kicked out fathers with their kids as well too because some fathers aren't going to leave without their kid with them. So it's like it happens the same way. It's just not spoken about. It's just not as um, popular. You know what I mean? It's just not as relatable. Or even if it is relatable because it's a lot of niggas that's went through shit like that. Trust me. Trust me, nigga. Trust me. Right now, you could you could have a woman at your crib. You could have your, your girlfriend or your baby mom at your crib and your baby... And if y'all get into a fight, even if she hits you first, if she calls the cops and you go to um, bookings, you go whatever, and you see the um, see the judge or whatever, they're going to put an order of protection on you and tell you to, yo, especially in the state of New York, they're going to tell you, yo, you have to leave that crib. And you'd be like, yo, that's my crib though. Yeah, but you got to leave. How am I leaving my crib where I'm on the lease? Oh, you have to leave, bro. 
And it's like maybe people are gonna be like, oh no, it's not. Like, it's like from what I understand, from what I know, from what I've seen, from what I've seen, that's what's happened. So it's like, yeah, yo. Oh, what are we supposed to do now? How the fuck is he a snitch? People saying he said he did some pussy shit by calling the cops. What are you supposed to do? Just get attacked? Then that's another video, but it's like, yo, let's talk about that shit too. Let's talk about domestic violence, how it works both ways, because let's read deep of what he said in his thing too. That's what I'm saying. I'm not in no shape, weight, or form trying to defend the baby. Just as a man, as a father as well too, I feel like these are certain things that we have to understand because how many people are bringing in sons into this world? And when we talk about bringing in black sons, shit, I got a black son now. Shit, ashy as fuck. You seen that? I got a black son now. But the thing is that the fact that I have a black son, it's kind of like, yo, I do not want this little man to go through half the shit I went through, bro. I do not. So it's like, what, what am I supposed to do as a father? Address them shits right now. Certain things that, so when he gets of age, or at that age where he's going through, he's like, damn. Because certain things that my moms and my pops just go through, I never understood until I'm at this age. And it's certain things that I'm probably still never going to understand until I'm at the age that they were. You know what I mean? But the fact that now I have two kids and I understand the relationship, like the, 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 the whole, the whole, like, Damn, I forgot the word. I hate when I forget the word because it's like the whole atmosphere. No, no, not the atmosphere, but the whole, just the whole situation, like the whole equation of having kids and love and marriage and co-parenting and shit, just shit like that. You have to understand it. So it's like, yeah, how y'all feel? Y'all feel like he was wrong for calling the cops? And is he a snitch for calling the cops on his baby mom because it's his baby mom? But how many baby mothers call, the, call cops on, on, their, on their, what you call it? On their baby daddies. And then on top of that, another thing that was getting me mad was, not mad, but making me feel like, yo, y'all niggas is for real? When people were saying, like, people was making jokes out of it. Like, trust me, this shit is funny. But there's a few jokes that were saying, like, yo, and it was due to his post. I'm like, yo, y'all niggas is pick me ass niggas, bitch ass niggas. Niggas was like, yo, oh, um, Dan and Lay better than, better than my, my baby mom or my girlfriend because she would have been fucking me up as soon as like, I got on that live lol and they laughing it is mad status is like that I'm like yo y'all niggas is the niggas that make a lot of these women think they could touch put their hands on men because like I said I have a son I have a daughter now you feel me I was raised never to put my hand on women right but also the, the, the life has raised me to be like yo if you feel like you can hurt me because nowadays you gotta remember these women are strong too these nigga bitches are strong Nigga, bitches, man. These bitches are strong. A lot of these women are strong, bro. Like, it's not like it's a little pluck just because she's a woman. No, nigga, these bitches is t t tummy, tummy T tucking it. My nigga, they working out. You think they only working out so they could make their BBLs and shit look good? No, nigga, they working out religiously while we drinking and smoking and shit. Nigga, they working out, quote unquote. So it's like, yeah, they have power. They have power, nigga. They have power. A lot of them have been through situations where it's like they've been taken advantage of, so they feel like they need to boss the fuck up. So they have power. You feel me? So it's not like it's a little kid hitting you, nigga. It's a full-blown grown-ass woman, nigga. And in some cases, a full-blown man bitch, nigga. You feel me? So it's like, yeah. But y'all niggas is over here making them think that it's okay. And a lot of chicks are shaming and talking about, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like, what? And I'm not going to say that, but it's like, yo. Well, let's just speak hypothetical. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. And last thing I'm going to say before I speak hypothetically and then before I cut out. Um, I have a son. I have a daughter. I do not want to ever have hear my daughter getting her ass whooped by a dude. And then when I ask her, like, yo, what happened? She'd be like, oh, I hit him first. You feel me? No. No. Because he could have killed you, man. He, if he took out all his anger, his man anger that a lot of chicks never seem to realize or never seem to admit that niggas have until males have until we're in our zone of really being mad and it's like yeah you wanted this anger you got this anger now until we in that sense because that's what i'm saying because prior to that you didn't look at him you didn't look at us and be like oh that nigga got veins popping out his fucking fingers his arms that nigga strong as shit that nigga will knock nigga will knock my fucking snot box rock my snot box no, you didn't assume that. You assumed you mad, so you're going to attack him with all your might and, with, and really try to hurt him. And in most cases, a lot of chicks really hurt niggas. But we let that go. We let that go. So cool. But yeah, so, um, yeah, and, it, I, and I have a son too. And I don't ever want my son to be like, yo, this chick is hitting me. Or this chick is abusing me. Like, you feel me? And last thing I'm going to say, like I said, hypothetically speaking, a lot of these... Niggas talking about, oh, if my girl did that, if I if I was to pull out a phone and my girl 
did that. I pulled out a phone with my girl that knocked me out on live, beat my ass. Nigga, if you're a female, right, if you're a woman, right, and if we in an argument like that, and if I pull out my phone and you start attacking me, I'm going to fuck you up. Like, just being real, I'm going to fuck you up. And that's what we got to start embracing. Like, yeah, nigga, I'm not going to ever attack you first. That's one thing that I was raised right. I was raised. But any person, any human being who feels like they can hurt you or like put any type of hurt on you or do any of that or pain, when they feel like they can do that with no consequences, no, I'm hitting you with all my might. And you might get hurt. Just being real. How do y'all feel about that, though? Because I feel like it's starting... I feel like this happened for a reason. Like I said, this whole situation, I'm not going to get into the, the deepness of it, of, oh, who's right, who's wrong, who's wrong, who's right in this situation, but it's like, nah. When it comes to people calling him a snitch and this and that and, and making it not normal for black men to call the cops when they get attacked by a woman, meanwhile, it's like, how many... Yeah, I don't want to get into race, but it's like, it, it may not only be black men. Because this is a man's situation. It's men that go through this shit. But it's just that it sucks that a lot of black men, you know what I mean? And I know a lot of black men that it's like, nah, you could be chilling. And if he didn't call the cops first, and if she did, he was getting locked up. The cops, the cops themselves would tell you that. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, yo. Let's, let's wait. Let's give you two seconds to do that. Okay, you like, comment, subscribe. No, like and subscribe. Then voice your opinion in the comments. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm right. It is what it is. Africa show. Bye.